Kanda Shah teaches law at Lahore University of Management Sciences in Pakistan. He's a former legal advisor to Pakistan's foreign ministry and joins us now from Ann Arbor in Michigan. Good to have you with us. So you're in the U.S. How closely is the U.S. watching this election and do you think the outcome could affect relations between Pakistan and the U.S.? Oh, I think, uh, well, good morning from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And uh, yes, I think the U.S. is watching this closely because the current uh, party which is expected to prevail, the Pakistan Tariq and Saf party, uh, has made it very clear that, you know, they would not want to be involved in uh, anything that affects the region in a way proactively, militarily. Uh, they have, uh, they have, uh, they want to have a policy where they're looking out for sort of regional interests which benefit Pakistan, which would mean more engagement with Iran, uh, a, a more sort of a neutral position in the Middle East vis-à-vis -vis the Yemen conflict, and also uh, to be not uh, in terms of uh, having a more uh, a sort of a, a stronger position vis-à-vis -vis the U.S. because. Uh, in the last uh, year or so, the Trump administration has been critical of the Pakistani uh, uh, the state as well as the military. Uh, they have put them on a particular list. Uh, that it's called the FATF list, which relates to terrorist financing. And being on that list affects uh, Pakistan. There's a lot of political pressure in the region because of that. And also, they've been critical of Pakistan vis-a-vis -vis Afghanistan uh, and uh, particular networks active there and blaming Pakistan for their involvement, which has also irked Pakistan. But naturally, this particular party, if it comes into power uh, in this election, for instance, also there is uh, the military is, uh, there's, there's talk about the military wanting a hung parliament. And this, it seems that is where Pakistan is heading, where there will not be one strong party in control. And so that benefits the military as well. So the U.S. is watching this very yeah, closely, and, uh, and, uh, well, uh, and the, the, it affects because, as you say, um, the, the, U, the U.S. has been very critical of Pakistan in in terms of um, the security situation in Afghanistan. Pakistan itself has been suffering uh, suffering security problems. What are your thoughts when you see the spate of bomb attacks that have been taking place in Pakistan around this election? That's right. I think that also the, the places the, the, where these bomb attacks are happening are also restive, volatile regions of Pakistan which are going through uh, putative uh, you know, uh, movements for independence and there's insurgency involved in these regions. And keep in mind, Quetta is in uh, Balochistan, which also is an area where Pakistan uh, apprehended uh, what it termed as an Indian spy. And that particular case is currently in the ICJ, in the International Court of Justice. So they are very, very, uh, and also keep in mind that this is an area which, uh, which, which actually Balochistan has the Gavada port, where uh, massive Chinese investment is coming in. And Pakistan, it, at this point, feels more comfortable with that happening. The military does as well, because that has, that has lowered the amount of you know, drone strikes in Pakistan, and also there's more stability, uh, well, alleged stability in Pakistan. So I think that um, these bomb attacks are also viewed, I, I, I've been following these elections very closely. There's already talk that these attacks have been orchestrated from across the border in India to sabotage a peaceful election process in Pakistan. So um, I think it has significance, but the country is in, within Pakistan. The, everybody, the election uh, commission has come out and said that, you know, these are sad events and there's a loss of life, but this is a success, success for Pakistan because this is the fourth time around that we've had, uh, uh, okay. you know, like uh, smooth transitioning of government. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for that. Good to speak with you, Sikandar Shah, there.